taught me that science and technology doesn't have to be in lab coats and big science labs. It's active learning, it's engaged learning, it's iterative, it's experimental. These are awesome kids and they're the future leaders of tomorrow. Yeah, we're having a blast today. First Lego League's mission is to inspire children to think of science and technology and engineering and math as an exciting opportunity to study in school as well as as a career. Oh, I definitely see a future for myself in science and technology. I just love it so much and this robotics experience has really given me a taste of what the science world feels like. There's basically three components to First Lego League. The first one would be the obvious one, which is the robotic side of it. So they're learning about engineering skills and science skills and math skills, the hard technical skills. The other two components would be, one would be the research project. And the theme every year is a real world theme that they have to um, research. So for this year, it was food safety. Then the third component is the core values. And with that, they're learning about teamwork and cooperation. They're also learning about how to compete, but also be gracious professionals with those people that they're competing against. Robotics is really fun, and uh, we do a lot of research, and it really pays off at the end, and it's so much fun research. Doing it with your friends, it's like a group assignment. As our perk solution, we have donated $150 to the endless bar. Harvest. The Endless Harvest includes tools and an education for farmers in Kenya. Activities like this provide them an opportunity to see how technology um, affects their life in many other ways. As a coach and a mentor, I've gotten a lot out of this experience, but I've also had an opportunity to work with some of my peers, other teachers, as well as um, students, working towards a common goal. One of the key things with First Lego League, one of the core values is that the kids do the work. So as a coach, um, one of the biggest challenges that I faced was actually being hands-off and making sure that the kids were, were engaged in doing the work rather than, than me doing it for them. A lot of the time we rely on the adults in life to give us the answers to things like homework or questions we have. And here, you learn to work within a team and to be independent. In this setting, their confidence, their ability, their leadership and team building is huge. Well, the first thing about today is having fun. This program today with First Robotics, it's a, it's a partnership that we're announcing today, uh, $1.5 million to help encourage more kids get involved in activities such as the one we're seeing here today with the LEGO Challenge. We're seeing literally hundreds, thousands of kids across the country and around the world participating, working with their minds, thinking independently, to come up with solutions to problems that are given each and every year for the contest. And we're seeing healthy competition, we're seeing lots of fun, and it's a real testament to First Robotics, how they're expanding this across the country and getting more and more kids involved. The sooner that we can uh, debunk the myth that math and science is a scary uh, subject, uh, and that they're, they're, they're difficult, the sooner we can encourage more uh, young uh, boys and girls to, to go and choose science and engineering at the post-secondary level. Gives those kids that are, that are starting out in this program the idea that there's a future in this, there's a pipeline where they start here, and if it's something that really grabs them, there's a place to go with it. There's, there's an opportunity for them to continue into the next set of programs from, from elementary school right through to high school and hopefully the idea is that that then drives them to a university program that has engineering and science and technology and math and then hopefully that drives that into a career path where they're helping society as one of our future technology heroes. It's quite an experience and uh, something you won't forget. Yeah.